Well, actually, I do have a lot to lose if I lie. You do, but yeah, you know, because you're impersonating a police officer. That would be, and you if understand. I yes. Whenever you take your oath, and whenever you, well, when the staff comes to me and says that you've been threatening people and you've been causing issues, Who's I try to threaten them. I'm trying to talk to you, and I get nothing but stonewall. I can detain you and arrest you. Okay, detain me. Okay. Turn around. No, no. Don't no, miss. No, no. Don't no, no. Is this man? No. Hey, knock it off. Knock it. Go. Cops are always there to help us out. But what happens when the cops are not real cops? Here are different cases when this happened, starting with Case 1. On July 1, 2023, police in Gwinnett County, Georgia, responded to complaints from a local bar about an intoxicated man who was reportedly being violent and threatening towards customers. The man, identified as 34-year-old William Godsey, had been causing disturbances, prompting the bar staff to seek assistance from law enforcement. I know the law. Okay, then you Bro, understand, I, I, then you understand disorderly conduct and public I'm drop? I'm state patrol. You're state patrol? I know a little bit more than you. Do you have your ID? Do, do you need my ID? You're identifying yourself as a state trooper? I want no, your ID. sir. You don't need my ID. I know a little bit more than you do. Let me see your ID right now, because I'm investigating disorderly conduct and public drunk. So okay. give me your ID. Public drunk, did I leave here drunk? Give me your ID. I'm not debating this with you. My wallet's gone. Have a seat for me. I'm not going to. Flash unit. I know your traffic has I know, I know, I know my rights, brother. Okay, that's fine. Keep your hands out of your pockets for me. So how are you getting alcohol without an ID? Who knows? You're in this bar as well as I am. <laughs> so, fuck the mafia and fuck off. It would be nice if I had a little bit of cooperation from you. Shit, You're what? I'm about that godly shit. My then, last name's Godson. Okay. Yeah. So then I would expect a little bit more respect coming from you I'm if that's totally the case. I'm giving you 100% respect, but get my ID out of that fucking bar. Do they have your ID? I'm sure I would have fucking drove here without an ID. Well, you know, see if I've had a crash and we're currently on paper. Well, you know, see if I've had a seat for me. I'm not going to. Why not? Why would I? Because I'm asking you to. I've not done anything to harm you. It's not about harming me. Okay. Is he with you? Uh, there you go. Not I don't need you your phone. You want all the answers in the world right there. It is I'm not taking your phone. You, you are acting crazy. Do you have his ID or do you know where his ID is? I have no idea. But no, you ain't going to find it. How Again, about you quit acting are, dumb? Why are we having this conflict i'm asking it's simple typical. questions it's typical it's typical i just wish y'all would get right with god <laughs> stay right there what's your last name godsey g-o-d-s-e-y and mr godsey what's your first name william all right william what's your birthday Upon arrival, the officers engaged with Godsey, who initially displayed uncooperative behavior. Despite attempts to question him about his actions and resolve the situation peacefully, Godsey remained defiant and confrontational. At one point, he even claimed to be a state patrol officer, asserting his authority over the officers. Everybody else was in the county. Where's what my is? license? Where's my ID? How did I get a drink without showing my license? My ID. Pretty smart, bro. Don't fuck with me. What does that mean? Are you threatening me? No, I'm saying I know there's a little bit of button right there. I know state patrol. What's your middle name? William Chad Godsey. Oh, I just had a birthday. My son's birthday was just fucking two weeks before that. Like, okay. How old's your son? My son's five years old. Okay. Where is he now? My son's with his, his, his mother. Okay. None of y'all need to know about that. I'm just making conversation. That's government shit. Y'all need to know where my son is. I'm a little smarter than all that. Well, I'm not going to go to What did I do wrong, sir? 10-4.
Well, when the staff comes to me and says that you've been threatening people and you've been causing issues, Who I try to threaten in there. I'm trying to talk to you and I get nothing but stonewall. Who, You're not being cooperative. Who did I threaten in there? I don't know because I haven't gotten that far yet. Where That's did why I, I came. Sir, why I came to talk sir, to you. Sir, I'm asking you. I'm asking you. Who have I threatened? Have I not been a godly person since I've been? Here? I don't know who you are, and I haven't My seen you since William you came in. My name is William Chad Godsey. I get I that. I don't know you anyone. personally. I What's your plan? Help. What is your plan to leave here? I tried to help someone. That I, came I don't to care. This. What is your plan leaving here? My plan to leave here. Yes. My plan to leave here. It's not even to leave here by myself. I'm going to Uber. Okay. I'm going to get out Make, here. I'm going to get, get out Get on here. the app. Get an Uber on the way. I got somebody else. I don't need Are they here? That's government shit. I'm, nobody's going to fucking understand where I'm going to work. Well, listen. You can't drive and you can't walk because either way you're going to jail for those. So I'm trying to help you out I'll to get you right to get you home without someone. going in handcuffs. Because I, I don't want to arrest you any more than you want to be arrested. Thank you. I'm not going to shake your hand again. But... I will do what I have to do. And if you that means to... arresting you, then I will. So okay. I'm trying to help you, so be cooperative. I'm being cooperative. No, you have not been since the moment I talked to you. But for some reason... Who you're... is your ride home? I don't have one at this time. Sorry. Number 611. Do you have someone you can call? Yes, sir. Call them. Sure. Right now. Sure. That's the way. For what? Despite Godsay's attempts to evade accountability, the officers proceeded to investigate the situation further. They discovered that Godsay had been intoxicated and had allegedly threatened individuals at the bar. He didn't do anything arrestable, but like, he's also either about to Uber home or, I don't know. Is he calling for a ride? No, he's calling his sister and wants me to drive him home and I don't want to fucking leave him. Are you... Would you, please? I'll buy you a drink when you get back. How about that? Okay. Is your car like, at his house? He lives in fucking Oh, gross. <laughs> so yeah. Far. Like... I mean, you could take well, him. No, you could take him to a Waffle House or a racetrack. Quick trip. A racetrack's right down here, and he can wait for a ride. He just can't stay here. But his car is here. That's his car that he drove here. Oh, so he drove right, here. So she yeah. couldn't even take him home because then she wouldn't have a way back because she'd be taking his truck. Right? Yeah. Unless you weren't down at the dock bridge earlier. Your no, car is at my home. At my house. Yeah. Georgia told us. That's the only reason we were out here. So. He was talking about how he's got enough money to buy everybody in the bar a drink, so he's got enough money to buy an Uber to and from. I hate that that's what it is. It's like people will start shit and then be like, I got more, I could buy everybody in here a drink. Yeah. Like, smooth it over and then go into God stuff. That's right. the pattern every time. Hey, so this guy, um, he's intoxicated. He's in the passenger seat of this car here. Okay. Um, he's, I got a report that he was being aggressive and he needed to go. <clears throat> so I started talking to him. He's been co uncooperative the whole time. Tried to say he was GSP, um, drunk. Very strong possibility we may have to fight him. Again. Yeah, uh, but when I walked over here just a minute ago to check on him because he's supposed to be calling an Uber, he's over here pissing in a bottle. Like so he needs. Or outside the car. He was standing outside the car, leaning inside the car, but he's going to go for public drunk um, or or disorderly conduct. I can do that on a citation, um, but. I do need somebody to transport, yes. If y'all can help me figure out the citation part of it, I'll do a, C, a, uh, My a CT and a... <laughs> I am not, so <laughs> we can work that out in a minute, but uh, I am going to have him step out. and okay. um, who's, Who wants to transport for me? Okay. Um, if you want to... Okay. All right. Fair enough. Thank you. All right, William, step on out for me, please. Oh, yes, sir. Come to the back of the car. Oh, yes, sir. You are going to be placed under arrest for disorderly conduct tonight, okay? Okay. Grab it on here. Go. Yeah, I thought the cops had. You're on speakerphone. Sir, I'll be there in 30 minutes to get in. Can you please not do this? No, he's, he's going to go to jail tonight. I sat in my Sorry. car and did nothing. The problem is, my, my biggest issue, uh, uh, well, I've got many issues. 
but what sealed the deal was you out here in the parking lot in a family friendly establishment peeing in a bottle that's that's unacceptable you could have asked but you didn't you could have asked but you didn't you came over here it's indecent you're intoxicated we could go and charge you with more things but instead i'm going to do disorderly conduct and solve the problem for tonight fair enough is it, who, Thank you. Okay. Ma'am, who, who is this I'm talking to? I'm his teacher. Okay. Austin, he, has a, he has a special needs son, and I know that doesn't make an excuse for what he's done, but can you please... His disruptive behavior, combined with his refusal to cooperate with law enforcement, led to his arrest on a felony charge of impersonating an officer. Throughout the encounter, Godsey exhibited belligerent behavior, making it challenging for the officers to de-escalate the situation. Oh, really? Like, really hyped up. But he, but people, like, jumped him, so he went after, and I guess, hit the security guards that thought he, he was part of it, but the security guard was kind of breaking up, but Jeez. no one pressed charges or anything. Now, the lady at the end of the table, that guy was acting very vulgar to her when she went to the, go to the bathroom over there. Okay. Do we know where he is now? I, she said he's not in here. Okay. I know it's bad, but I can't describe him. Okay. He's a black guy. All he said was, I'm sure your husband isn't good. As I was walking into the bathroom. Okay, you don't know what he was wearing or anything? No, I wish I could. Okay. Okay. Do you know if he was wearing a hat? No. No okay. hat. No hat. Okay. All right. Just to... Okay. I'll be, I'll be, well, we've already got stuff started, so okay. I've got to finish up out there. If you see him again or it happens again, tell me what he's wearing, and then I'll deal with him. But he said that, and I'm like, and, and I'll walk over there and see if he's just hanging out. Went to the bathroom and didn't think anything about it, and I come back and I thought, ooh, that's the, we're not going okay. to the bathroom. All right, I'll check it real quick. Okay. There's nobody over there now, so y'all are fine. But just keep your eye out, and I'll be back in here once I get done. All right. I appreciate it. Hopefully, I won't have to call you guys back out. But I, I really thought I, I thought we were going to have to fight this guy. No joke. Nah, that's okay. oh, he, he was. how big he was. And what, what well, I walk up to him at the bar, and I could tell he's a beefy guy. And he was like, hey, man. We having problems tonight? Despite their efforts to reason with him, Godsey continued to resist cooperation and exhibited a lack of regard for the law. If you thought only this cop has done this, the watch, this case too. On January 21st, 2024, while conducting patrol duties, an officer from the Westerville Police Department in Ohio witnessed what appeared to be a felony stop involving a marked Columbus police vehicle and an unmarked police interceptor with flashing red and blue lights. <laughs> I know he showed me a badge or something, but he stopped his car. He said they've been driving all over the road and going to kill someone. Yes, from your guys and stuff. He like flagged us down and we came over here to see what's going on. I don't know if that's real or not. I mean, this is not going to be a felony stop. I'm going to go to three with some more information. Okay, thank you. It's real. I called on them. Yeah, that's. No, no. I, I waved them down. He was going to kill everybody on the road. What's going on with him? Dude, he was going 11 on the road, went in front of three other people. I'm off duty right now. Right. I'm going home. I, I got all my gear in the back. Are you showing my credentials and everything? Yeah, all right. we checked everything. Yeah, what's up? Uh, he was going to, I mean, real problem. So I, I just stopped him, and I flagged the, uh, I, I saw the Mark Columbus police officer. I flagged him down. I said, you need to go talk to them right now. Try to make a traffic stop on somebody? In a marked car? What the f That's it. Do you have a badge number? Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, wow. Oh, you better. Okay. Uh, what is it? Your badge number? Uh, or, what, uh, you have uh, seven, nine, three, seven. As officers spoke further with the suspect, he stated he was an off-duty officer on his way home and did not have his gear, as it was in the back of his vehicle. Seven, nine, okay, that's good. Just that way I can put it in the car. He was just, I, I, I flagged down the first marked car that I saw. Yeah. I mean, it was a real problem on the road. So he's going 11 miles an hour? He was going 11 down here. He tried to drive into two other cars. 
the one person got a little bit road ragey on him yeah. and was following him like real close. And the one guy that was gonna like, I think they're gonna go fight. And so I just hit the lights on him real quick and I waved the Columbus police officer over. I said, you need to get him right now, pull him over. Who the, who the f does he work for? He's a fugitive task force guy, but he's the one that calls in all his stuff. He stopped right here in the middle of the intersection. I gave him commands. 11 times on my on, on my radio with the lights on, turn right, turn right, turn right, get off the road, get off the road, he didn't follow any instructions. I wasn't getting- Initially assuming it was a routine assist between law enforcement agencies, the officer soon realized that the individual conducting the stop in the unmarked vehicle was not recognized as a legitimate law enforcement officer and claimed affiliation with an Ohio fugitive program. Upon closer examination at the scene, it was discovered that the unmarked vehicle possessed official looking lights and bore a license plate registered to the Columbus police headquarters, lending credibility to the impersonator's assertions. The suspect identified himself as an officer, providing credentials and a business card, purportedly linking him to the Ohio fugitive apprehension program. Hey, what's going on? Hey, you remember me from last night? Yeah, I do. What's going on? So we had a couple more developments about that traffic stop. Can you come out here and talk to me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me get a uh, socks and shoes on. Huh? Actually, yeah. you remember the last day? Yeah. Why am I back? For unlawful detainment and impersonating a police officer. I have done none of that. You have the right to remain silent. For what? Anything you say can be used you against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney. I have him or her present with you while you're being questioned. You have the right not to answer any questions or make any statements until that time, you understand? I do. You have a pair of shoes, man? I, I do. Oh, I will, but... I got one pair right there. Okay. Uh, what, what is happening? Well, you're arrest her for an impersonating police officer. How did I impersonate a police officer? I never impersonated any police officer ever. Sir, we will explain all that later. Last night, about 15 after 12, there was a traffic stop. Your husband initiated that traffic stop with red and blue lights and stopped a car and detained an individual. He's not a licensed police officer in the state of Ohio, and that is unlawful detainment and impersonating a police officer. Okay. So okay. he admitted that he made that traffic stop. He had his red and blue lights activated. And based on the evidence that we have right now, he's not and never has been a police officer. He can't do that. So a warrant has been filed for his arrest for unlawful detainment, impersonating a police officer, having fictitious plates on a vehicle and limit of number of lights required. Okay. All of these are misdemeanor charges. Okay? okay. The, the highest one is a uh, M1. So there's no felony charges or he, anything like he that. He does have, he has a license for bail bond. Bail bonds. Insurance. Yes. Right. But unfortunately, he made a traffic stop on somebody and stopped them. Okay. But I know he only did that for the good of, he felt like that was necessary. I understand. However, okay. the the significance of this goes a little bit beyond just the criminal law, and there is a constitutional violation of Fourth Amendment that happened. Somebody's constitutional rights got violated during this, and they were unlawfully detained, and their liberty was taken from them. So that's why this is happening. Okay. He's in here. He's a bed in there too. Yeah, he's sleeping there. Dude, he has a... Dude, if I was an average citizen, I would think that that was the cop. Right. That badge is what he had. Uh, additionally, 
the vehicle was equipped with a computer system resembling those found in official law enforcement vehicles, along with a shotgun secured in a gun rack beside the driver's seat. Further investigation into the Ohio Fugitive Apprehension Program revealed it to be a non-profit organization actively recruiting licensed agents and sworn officers, as advertised on its website. However, scrutiny of the suspect's background uncovered a criminal history, casting doubt on his legitimacy. Around, I said, hey, what's their deal? I gave you the information, but I truly believe that they were going to hurt somebody. And I... So, what's next? So what I would like to do, with your permission, mm -hmm. is if you can tell me where those plates are, we can have your wife get them. Mm -hmm. We can, we're, like I said, we're going to seize those ones. Um, but I would like to put the original plates on it so we don't have to tow it and cause you more inconvenience. Mm -hmm. um, is that something you'd be willing to do? Yeah. Um, two questions, and this isn't this mainly because the, uh, the shotguns in there, okay. and some other stuff, right? Uh, I don't. Is this is <laughs> weird thing to ask? Being that I'm on the other side, is this bondable? Am I coming home tonight, or being that none of it is felony? I don't. That's something we'll have to. Dis you have to discuss. Well, with I the just want to find out. I, I, get that. Um, I would assume it will be. Uh, and that'll all come to fruition once we get down there, okay? Um, will you allow me the opportunity to get my wallet? Yeah, we can get, ask your wife to get it for you. Okay. A um, couple things. Would you be able with the car to pull it either into the driveway and like put your car behind it or something so it's legally parked off the public roadway? Uh, like I've never driven it, but I guess I'll figure yeah, it out. Yeah, that way, because it doesn't have any plates on it. And it could get, it's not legally parked. Okay. Um, or do you know how to get the shotgun out of it? No, I no. don't know okay. what he means. <laughs> I'll figure it out again. Are you giving it to him? Yes, yep, yep. I'm not taking it for evidence or anything like that. He wanted it, so. Okay. I, I'm not, you know, I'm being straight up with you. No, I know, I know. I'm sorry. This is really, like. <laughs> oh, I, I totally understand. This is. Out of, <laughs> out of nowhere, and it's a lot. Yep. Um, um, yeah, I'll figure the car out. Just okay. let me get some shoes and a coat on. Okay. I'll figure it out. I'll be out. And I spoke with your wife. We're just going to have her pull the vehicle here in, into the um, driveway so it's safe. Okay. Are we home tonight? Are we home tonight? Okay. Are we home tonight? I didn't do anything that would be intended to harm. Okay, fine. I love you. I'll call you. Just, just, just no, there. Don't. Worry. It's, it's not loaded. Just, just put it up there. No, it's not loaded. Don't worry about it. I'll, I'll, I'll handle it. We got cameras all over the house. We. Okay. As a result, the suspect was apprehended at his residence and charged with impersonating a peace officer, private police, unlawful restraint, and violating regulations pertaining to the use of red and flashing lights. Yes, these people's acts and thoughts are taking them to places, to jails, just like this one here where case three. On November 4th, New Mexico State Police were called to assist a captain who reported someone attempting to pull him over on I-40, the individual in question identified as Portillo, was using his car to mimic a police vehicle by activating blue lights in the front and red lights in the back. When officers attempted to place Portillo into custody, he initially refused, claiming he didn't break the law and citing his position as a private security officer, PPO. Okay, sir. I was told that you were using your car like you were a police officer. No. Well, you should have showed it, right? It was in my truck. Well, I told you to show it in your truck. You're on private property right now. You have your driver's license, sir? No, I'm not giving it. You have that. Okay, well... I'm in charge of this right now. Okay. You're so, in charge of what? I'm charged with this property and other properties. Okay, and that's fine. Okay. But over there on the highway where you lit up cars and you were using your car like a cars, police car... There's no proof. Okay. Hear me out. I'm investigating something, right? And if you refuse to give me your driver's license, I can detain you and arrest you. Okay, detain me. That's fine. No, no. Don't no, no. Don't no, no. No, no. Resist, man. No. Hey, knock it off. Knock it off. Go. I haven't done anything wrong. Hey, don't, man. Stop pulling away. Done Stop pulling away. Wrong. Don't do it. Knock it off. Well, then why are you resisting? Now, now you're resisting arrest. Now you're resisting. Could it just gave me your ID? I gave you ID. 
Could have given me your driver's license. I understand that. Okay. All right. Do me a favor. You have any other weapons on you? Well, mains. Okay. You got mags. Any other weapons, sir? Mains. Is that recording? Yes. Excellent. Is it recording on the highway? No. All right. Because I get to hear my post. Okay. Don't move. Well, then, move. Just stay here. There's nothing in there. There's nothing else. I still got to check you. Without gloves? Yeah. I don't care. What do you got in there? Where do you keep your cuff keys? No you got cuffs. Where do you got the cuff keys? They're all my mouth. Dirty checkers. I mean, this could have gone a lot easier. It man. was easier. I gave you my ID, and that's who I was. Oh. I asked for your driver's license. He refused. Yes, sir. Because I didn't break the law. Yes, sir. No, I sir. I didn't. Okay, well, I was investigating you breaking the law. Okay, but that's still not breaking the law, right? Okay. Nothing else? All right, do me a favor. Have a seat here on the sidewalk. No, I don't want to sit. I'd rather just stand. I'll okay, be well, here. you can sit in the back of a I'll car or on the here. sidewalk. I'll be sitting here. Okay, just sit down. Sit down or in the back of a car? Wait, can you pick this, one? Can you choose? Back of a car or right here? Can you fix this one real fast? My left. It's, it's, it's on my bum, just a little bit. Handcuffs are not meant to be comfortable, here. man. Do you want to sit on the sidewalk or in the back of a unit? How about if I lean against the unit? You can sit on the sidewalk. The situation escalated as officers insisted on Portillo providing his driver's license, to which he refused, stating he had not committed any offense. Portillo's refusal led to his detention, during which he continued to resist arrest. Despite his claims of innocence, officers explained they were investigating his actions of impersonating an officer, which led to his detainment. Bumper pretty much, back bumper to front bumper, mm -hmm. is I hit my brakes and go to Clover. But as soon as I do that, he shuts them all off. It's like, okay, this dude isn't legit because he didn't have a plate in the first place. Yeah, there was plates in the door, if you notice that. It's hanging I didn't out the see door. that. Well, I'm gonna run that in a second. I just saw it on the door. Yeah, so um, as soon as he does that, then I backed up. That's whenever I just stayed behind him the whole way and he once uh, he realized I was staying behind him and there was you can't even say I was still getting him because there was a black vehicle in between of us in yeah. between us and he hits the lights again like and that's whenever I can clearly see that the back window it's not tinted it's yeah. just dirty as hell probably from the dog and that's whenever I see the red lights in the back and then he turns them off like multiple times he's just like using that his lights as like back away from me type of thing like we do yeah Okay. Anything else? Nope. All right. I take care of these people here. From a guy getting here, all these people here with cleaning house here. That's it. I have no warrants. I have nothing. That's all the I. Card, the card you presented us. What what powers does that give you? I'm a PPO, okay. which gives me I'm. Not a level three security officer. I'm above a level three. Okay, so you're not considered a police officer, right? I am not. No. Okay. So you I'm understand? You patrol. understand that by when we were asking for your ID, we're in, you're in under investigation. We were asking for your ID. But under investigation, if I committed. That's what we're investigating, which is why we asked your ID. We right. refuse to give it. That can you just? We'll adjust them in a minute. That's so why you're in cuffs. So oh, it's my watch. Never mind. Can we take your watch off? Yeah. Can you turn around? There you go. That's much better. Oh yeah, that's much better. Okay. So I didn't light up anybody. Just turn it over. Just make sure I get these on. So they're are they locked? No, no. Let me let me let me lay the lock them so they don't actually double okay. tighten on you. I didn't light anybody up. All right, hold on. I live in Edgewood. I come here. In. This is my first post. Then we go to Central and we go to Central and Eubank, and we just run all of those all the way down to. Uh, the, I didn't light them up. I didn't do anything. I know that's against the law to pose as an officer. I'm a PPO for the state. I work for this company, and we're cleaning house here. Let me ask you how long you work for the. How long have you been to PPO? I've been to PPO for a month, and I've worked here for... During the encounter, Portillo provided his security guard ID, but refused to provide his driver's license. 
he attempted to justify his actions by explaining his role as a PPO and his duties with the private security company. However, officers emphasized the seriousness of impersonating an officer and the need for proper identification. That did all. Uh, or uh, tell him, yeah, hang on. No, it's not on that. It's on my ear. I got so it. Turn it off. And now shut it off. This we've just been hired two weeks. Uh, it's called Black. Okay, this is a company that this is a company that I just started. Okay. Do you have a contract with yes. Property. Yes. Okay. For the whole land from from the whole land. From the uh the whole property by the owners. Okay. So like yesterday there was there was a rape last week. There was a stabbing. Yeah. It's a, anyway, it's a super bad area. Yeah, I understand. Right. So this is where we come. This right. is where I come first. Now let's rewind. Yeah, let's I understand rewind. what you're saying. And okay. Like I said, it, 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 your presence here, where you're dressed, your vehicle, all of that on private property, just like you said. You own this property, the property. Right. Absolutely. Again, going back to the negative. There's there's shit all in there. So I don't know. If I did, I didn't know. Because I easy to turn on my lights here because I was gonna go to the ladies like it's gonna, things are gonna go really bad. The conversation between Portillo and the officers highlighted his reluctance to cooperate and the officers' efforts to ascertain his identity and intentions. Despite Portillo's assertions, the officers remained firm in their actions, emphasizing the potential consequences of his behavior. I'm trying to make me out to be a liar. I'm not trying to make you out to be a liar. Just let me finish, okay? It's like, I'm all go about ahead. respect. Man. Okay, go ahead. You can ask these guys. Go ahead, man. Like, they, they want to talk to me. They want to even yell at me. I shut up. I listen okay, because ahead. it's so important what I'm they listening. have to say. Okay, but you. I'm sorry, I'm not. All of, no, I understand you're getting out of the sun. So all of this that you're trying, that you're doing, okay, on a daily basis to help society, is going in the toilet because you're minimizing your actions and you're failing to own what they did. That's going to change the yeah, outcome of this completely. Right. Okay. Because you continue to lie and you continue to say. So what's going to happen? So what do you want me to say? I turned on the lights. I want you and to And then be we're honest. done. I want you to be I, honest. I don't know I turn on the lights. Okay. Because, you, because I have shit all on there. It's no different than sometimes my mic coming on by me bending. You so, play, you know what? You I'm, not play play, I'm, not, I'm not playing any game. I'm not playing any game. Like you, I'm not you playing any that, game. That's exactly I would lie. I, I wouldn't lie mm -hmm. at all. Just wouldn't lie. I have no reason to lie. I have nothing to lose. You know what I mean? Well, actually, I do have a lot to lose if I lie. You do, but yeah, you know, because you're impersonating a police officer. That would be. And you if understand. I was. Yes. Whenever you take your oath, and whenever you you are. Is there any uh, weapons in the vehicle? <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Throughout the interaction, Portillo's demeanor ranged from defensive to compliant, reflecting the tension between his claims of innocence and the officer's insistence on proper identification and adherence to the law.